So we're a global company. Our headquarters is in Toronto. Uh, we have two offices in the U.S., one being Boston. The other is located right outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. So we wanted to inspire people to travel and feel good about it at the same time. We have a variety of projects globally, um, whether they be on land or by sea, um, to help sustain local communities uh, through our Planetara organization. Uh, so setting up, for example, in India, we have a Woman on Wheels project. So every arrival transfer that we provide in travelers who are arriving in Delhi, they will be accompanied by one of our um, uh, one of our female drivers that were specifically trained on how to drive a car and to make a living at the same time. So what we do is we organize these trips, and everywhere you go, we are trying to make that social impact. So you'll see if you sign up for a trip with us through G. We call them G for good, and they're listed on our itineraries. So like Dennis was saying in India, part of your trip, you'll be participating in these activities that are set up through our social enterprise that benefits our nonprofit Planetara. Okay. So we're going into these communities and helping them create an economy where it might not exist. Like alternatively, in Peru, we're the best, or we're the number one, and I like to say the best, operator of the Inca Trail. I knew that you guys were the best. Well, that goes I, without saying. I have the t-shirt that says, Gabriella and Dennis from G are GD awesome. There's a lot of communities that are so close to all of this tourism going on, but they can't quite figure out a way to make the economy work and to benefit their local villages. Yeah. So one of our initiatives that we started, I believe it was in 2005, is called the Women's Weaving Co-op. And so we have like a traditional Incan village that still does all their traditional Peruvian and Incan um, style of weaving and all of these different products, whether it be, you know, socks, blankets, jackets, all of that. Yeah. We're now taking our groups that would be going ultimately to Machu Picchu and we're bringing them first to this village where they're able to buy these goods that, directly from the women that have made them. Our, our only intentions are to create a positive and a happy community in the regions that we impact. Um, we love, we changing, love changing, changing people's people. lives and, and creating happiness in community. That's our only intentions. Um, we haven't had any trouble. It's our, our only intentions are to, to create uh, new experience for, for our travelers. That's that's super cool. And so, what's on your bucket list of things that you want to do within the company? You're both kind of young. Probably have a long way to go in this business. Where do you want to go? Where, where do you want to Where do you want to take it? Like, what's the a career or travels? I don't know. I'm you know like you, you get in the morning Monday morning and you're like you know I want to have an impact in this business. Yeah. The next big company meeting you have, you're thinking, should I pitch this idea I have? I genuinely love talking about travel and how G Adventures does it a bit differently than our than our competitors in the industry. Um, and I, I love doing that and uh, and just creating that environment to to impact communities and changing people's lives through just traveling. Um, that's you know where I'm heading, and you know, hopefully keep it up. Um, I, yeah, I agree with Dennis, and I also think that there's a lot of corporations out there that are starting to think the way we do and align with our moral compass. So I'd like to see the way some companies are giving their sales incentives. I'd like to see them kind of giving back to the community around the world and partnering with us and seeing how we can grow with corporate incentive travel as well. So what got you into travel to begin with? I mean, you know, was it an interesting thing, right? You both smirked and laughed. Well, so there's like... It's funny because we both have degrees in travel. Well, I wasn't much of a traveler, I think, growing up, and that was the thing. I was always just curious. Where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia. Okay. Brotherly love. How about you? Yeah. I'm from upstate New York. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Adirondacks? Buffalo? Yeah, Buffalo. Rochester okay. area. Gotcha. All right. So you traveled here to Boston. Where did you go to school? We both went to Johnson & Wales University in Providence. And that's like a hospitality thing? Like, yes. Okay. And you got a degree in travel. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I didn't even know you could do that. You well, can. I figured People you could. Down. I mean, yeah. you can get a, you know, I mean, it's an important yeah. industry, yeah. you know. Right. And so you write, and you're fresh out of college, right? Uh, you're kind, Chuck. You're kind. I know yeah, I am. You're very kind. But I'm also <laughs> not bullshitting you. I think you guys look young, you know. We're both 25. Oh, come on. You're fresh out of college. <laughs> <laughs> My God. If you were 45, that's a whole other thing altogether. So you, you, right off the bat with the, with this company or did you kind of bounce around? Uh, before G Adventures, I was an intern with G Adventures many years ago and then uh, and then right after college I moved to New York, worked at a hotel and then I moved up to G Adventures here in Boston. It, 
both of us coming from Johnson & Wales and the internship that Dennis had, it's a very sought after internship and G Adventures is very popular within the community of travel and tourism. So I definitely think there's a lot of kids that are studying to graduate from Johnson & Wales that would love to get an opportunity to work for G. Is part of your experience, is it just corporate? Or are you talking to individuals on advice on where to go and like, you know, are you a travel company or I'm still trying to get the gauge of like, if I walked in off the street and threw a credit card down, what I get at G, G Adventures or G, yeah. G Travel, G, G Force, G, G Travel. We do have a department called G Force, okay. but uh, we're a tour operator um, and we sell to both travel agencies and to direct clients like yourself. Um, so you could easily walk into one of our offices and say, hey, I'd like to go to Costa Rica for nine days. What can you tell me about it? Can you um, go for eight days? You can. I believe we do have an itinerary that is eight days long. Yes. We essentially cater to that individual traveler that is keen on the idea of backpacking, but they may not have all the resources or may not have the time to put into that type of itinerary that they're looking for. So do you hook them up with guides and things like that? So or? we call them, um, the man who started our company, Bruce Poontip, awesome individual, he didn't want the title of CEO for himself, yep. so he gave it to all of our guides and it stands for Chief Experience Officer. Wow, that's pretty cool. So we have hundreds of CEOs that are all native to the land where you're actually traveling to that are your local guides. We can't even find one CEO, that's good. Never mind, you guys have hundreds. I mean, that's, that is super neat. And so, do you guys get to travel yourselves? We do. I'm actually going to Peru next week to go up to Machu Picchu on one of our trips. You go? Do you hike to the top? Um, yes. That's hard to do, isn't it? We'll find out next week. Oh, so you've never been? I've heard it's tough. Have you been? You uh, know? Yes, I've been to Peru. I hadn't done the Inca Trail, but I've done the Lars Trek, which is a bit similar to the Inca Trail. We have different itineraries, something for everybody, uh, with different travel styles that we have. So if you're an active traveler and you want to go on a hike, or if you want to go kayaking, we have those types of trips. Um, or if you wanted just to, to visit cities and visit local communities, we have those as well. So the, you have a website, social media and all that. Did you connect with our people? Yes, we all right, so we would love to do more with you guys and find out more about all the, you must have all sorts of content, video stuff that we can show our show our people yep. and it's just been a thrill for me to meet the cast of high school musical <laughs> i mean you guys look fantastic do you know the moves still like oh yeah i know all get your head in the game yeah yeah i mean you must have grown up at that time I, you're I 25 up yeah to <laughs> right g what's the g adventures, adventures. Yep. and did i give the website give the website out or gadventures.com easy yep all right very cool. Thanks for coming Thanks on. So All right.